this video I'm gonna speak about how to do the human flag now the human flag this is my version so I'll call it Freddy's flag or Freddy's human flag everybody does everything differently so these people that keep commenting saying you know you're not doing this right and that right I mean everybody has their own expression on how they do what they do so I'm just gonna show how I do what I do um, as far as what the labels concern what it's called you can call it what you want but this is my flag you know Freddie's human flag so this is how I do it I first started off trying to you know to do it doing it basically just seeing somebody else do it on a video and then I just tried it myself and I was able to do my own version of it it's not something that I just purposely train to try to do it's the same thing with the two finger push up from Bruce Lee I just saw him do it and I tried it and I was able to do it my own version of it but you know in order to do something like this this is like a high level of fitness I call this like the elite level of fitness training and you just had to get the basic fitness down like really good you had to be in shape fit you know you gotta do a lot of push-ups a lot of pull-ups a lot of sit-ups you know you should probably be able to do about a hundred push-ups in a minute you should probably do a, at least around 20 pull-ups you should be able to do an L hold no problem you should be able to to do like over 50 sit-ups no problem you know just general fitness like that is what's required to be able to do something like this I'd say that you'd, you'd have to be um, the, the right weight for your height if you're overweight for your height I don't think you'd be able to do something like this if somebody is overweight for their height and they can do a human flag or something like that then it, it'd be surprising to me because this is a higher level of training and you basically have to get really fit as far as the general fitness is concerned if you can do all that general fitness stuff then doing the human flag I think it should be it shouldn't be too hard all right it's like a total body exercise so when people ask how do you do it it's like asking somebody how do, how do you do a pull-up it's just something that you just try you either can do it or you can't and if you can't do it then you gotta do some certain training to get to that level or asking somebody how do they do a muscle up a muscle up is a is a, a higher level than a pull-up so you're gonna be have to, you're gonna have to be able to do probably at least 20 pull-ups before you can do a muscle up so first off when you do the human flag or my version of it you need a pole there's no way you can do it without a pole and I think a reason why a lot of people can't do it is because in the gym there is no poles it's just weights so this you know these poles is something that you got to go to the park for and not a lot of people work out at the park so it's just lack of access to that type of equipment that prevents people from be, being able to train how to do the human flag now same thing with rings you know gymnasts may use rings but you can't find rings in the gym so that's a lack of access that prevents people from getting good at those types of exercises you know same thing like pommel horse and things like that so first you need a pole and you need a, a pole with the right amount of thickness if the pole is too thick you're not gonna be able to do it good all right this is a good thickness pole you know it's, it's pretty thin your, your hand should be able to grip it really good and you got to get a good grip on it with your hands all right so make sure that you got a good grip all right because if you start sliding around it's not going to really work too well all right so get a pole and you could put your hand this way like this another hand up here all right the hand on the top is going to be pulling this way and then the hand at the bottom is going to be pushing that way so it's the counter pressure that counter pressure like this that keeps you straight and you got to straighten out your, your 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 body stiffen it up all right you could hold your hand like this and this or like this and like this I like it more like this and if you have I'm right-handed and with my right hand down on the lower part I'm stronger then if I have it the other way I'm weaker so you're gonna have certain parts that are stronger try both sides all right keep your feet together that's gonna be harder you have your feet apart it's gonna be easier so I'm gonna demonstrate it 
And then once you do it, hold your breath in. Like take a deep breath in before you do it. Hold your breath. That's how I do it. If you could breathe while you do it, then that's great. That's great. But for me, I hold my breath. And I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do it as long as I can. And also you could, there's variations. You could make you can make your feet go up, you can make it here, you can make it go down. So it could go like this. Alright. So grab here, grab up here. You're gonna hop up, jump up, take a deep breath before you do it. Yeah, I'm not an expert at this stuff. This is not my main concentration. Some people, they work out just to do this. And obviously they're gonna be a lot better at it. For me, just saw somebody try to do it, and I tried it and this is how I do it. So, I just give my feedback and how, what my recommendation is to get started. All right, so, it's not that easy, all right? Um, now you can try it with your hand, with your legs spread apart, it'll be easier. All right, try it like this too. So you can try it like that. And then now you can try to pull yourself to the pole while you have your legs apart. So that, you can try that too. It looks pretty cool, but it's actually, um, well, I think, you know, with your feet together, it's a lot harder to hold it, that is. You try it again. Alright. Next thing you do, try, is have the human flag moving up and down like this. This is the hardest can't really do it but all the way up go start off go up down up down Still gotta work on that one. All right. Now hold it in a higher position, angle this way. It might be easier than holding it out. I don't know. Try it out. Alright, so there you have it. That's my version of it. Um, try it. If you can't do it, let's get back to the basic fitness. A lot of pull-ups, a lot of push-ups, a lot of sit-ups, a lot of squats.